in Moscow, they came to pay their respects. A long queue of people waiting their turn in the cold to mourn Alexei Navalny, one of President Putin's best known critics. That was despite warnings from officials not to participate in events related to his death. Local reports say around 100 people were arrested at gatherings across the country, with supporters of Mr. Navalny not afraid to openly blame the Russian government for his death. I was furious, of course. They finally killed him. He survived the first time, and he seemed to be untouchable. We thought they won't attempt to kill him the second time, but it turns out nothing is impossible for them. The present and the future of this country, and maybe there is no future now. I think that he wished for a better future. He represented the better future. Nothing has changed. This was Alexei Navalny only 24 hours before he died not a man visibly at death's door. But the next day, Russian state TV was announcing his unexpected demise. After a walk in jail, it said Navalny had felt unwell and lost consciousness. Doctors tried to resuscitate the activists, say authorities, but failed. Alexei's wife, Yulia, was with world leaders at the Munich Security Conference as she heard the news. You've probably all already seen the terrible news today. I thought for a long time whether I should come out here or fly straight to my children. But then I thought, what would Alexei do in my place? And I'm sure he would be here. He would be on this stage. Alexei Navalny was known worldwide for his astonishing courage. Standing up to Russia's corrupt regime that first poisoned him, then put him in jail, and now it seems may have killed him. His death has brought swift condemnation. The UK Foreign Office summoning Russia's ambassador to make it clear they hold the Kremlin directly responsible. A message echoed by US President Joe Biden. Make no mistake, Putin is responsible for Navalny's death. Putin is responsible. What has happened to Navalny is yet more proof of Putin's brutality. No one should be fooled, not in Russia, not at home, not anywhere in the world. The Russian leader himself was smiling his way through a photo opportunity with students and engineers. There was no mention of his arch rival's death. While most Russians have gone along quietly with their country's slide into authoritarian rule, Alexei Navalny always fought against it, and now it seems has paid the price. Siobhan Robbins, Sky News.